what's going on guys, Command here, and welcome to a new video on a PC building simulator. Now, just before this video starts, I just want to say, I'm not, I'm feeling a bit ill, I'm trying to recover from a cold, so if my voice doesn't sound quite that great, it's because I'm not very well, but that doesn't stop us from trying to make a PC and make a video on making a PC, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be trying to make a server PC. Now, I saw a video on YouTube from Linus Tech Tips, and he was using this this case, right? And it wasn't the same video, he was just using the same type of video, he was just using this case. And I thought, I think this case is actually in PC Building Simulator, and so it is. This isn't going to be a, you can see how that's, that, that's the score that I got, because I basically put the system together um, just in preparation, just so I know what, like, components are going to put in or what have you. Um, but... This, um, I'm not going to be, this isn't going to be the highest benchmark possible, because server CPUs, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using an AMD Threadripper CPU. Now, there's two versions that I want to try with this. There's, if I go into, um, if I go into CPUs and processors, if we go with Threadripper, the Threadrippers are generally more cores, um, like we've got like 24 core, 32 core, um, for the 29, 2990WX and 24 cores of 2970WX. So, these are quite good, like, um, for core counts, for servers. You know, it's 4.2 gigahertz, which is, a, which is, I suppose, like, it's, it's okay, I suppose. You know, battle your average CPU clock speed. I don't know what, so we need an X, um, X399 motherboard. Now, these ones, you can see... You can just see how big I've seen one of these boards. Not this, these ones exactly, but the um, Threadripper um, boards in real life when I've gone to the like, computer events and whatnot, and they are massive sockets. They're ridiculous. Threadrippers are ridiculously like oversized. But the good thing about these boards is they've got eight RAM slots, so we can stick like monstrous amounts of RAM. We can stick like 64 gigs of RAM in it. So that's that's good. But what I'm, let's see, what one should we go for? They're basically the exact same board that just looks slightly different. So what we're going to do, we'll go for, let's go for this one, the Aorus, um, the Aorus Zenith Extreme. Right, so let's put in the, um, screws in and open up this panel. So what we need to do now, we need a thread ripper. Now, which one are we going to go for? Probably the highest one that we can get, the 32 with a 4.2, because we can over, well, I'm not sure whether we will be able to overclock, but we'll try and overclock it. Because apparently these things run flipping hot. So, um, now, <coughs> yeah, so these things apparently run flipping hot. So we will, we do need to, um, we might not be able to overclock it. We might try to overclock it, even just the sliders in it all just die completely. But because these things run flipping hot, we're going to need to liquid cool it. Absolutely. There's no question about it. We have to liquid, uh, water, hardline water cool this thing. Um, I've got. The power supply that I've got is a um, 1300 watt G2 um, power supply from EVGA. So hopefully it will be all right. Might not be. Doesn't matter if we're not. So next thing we need is we need graphics cards. Now servers don't necessarily need the most like like 2080 Ti's and stuff like that. Just so long as they can like do the things that they need to do over the course of um, like all the unit users that it's going to be. Now. Servers generally use things like Quadros and Titan XPs and stuff like that. They're more server graphics cards. But because we haven't got them in here, we're just going to stick a couple 2080 Ti's in there. Now, again, they're not they're not good for servers because they've only got um because they've only got 11 gigs of VRAM in them. Something like a um, Titan XP or a um, Quadro or something have got like 32 or 24 gigs of video RAM in them. So they're a lot more useful for servers to use. So, but anyway, because we haven't got much of a choice, we'll stick in a uh, two gigabyte Aorus. Um, uh, let's remove, remove this. There we go. Stick so two gigabyte Aorus um, graphics cards in here. So one in there like that. Can we stick a third one in there? No, we can't. <laughs> I don't need that. Do, don't need it like this because I need to hardline water cool them. So. I was just I was just thinking I haven't put any fans any fans of anything in it's because these graphics cards are gonna hardline water cool. So we need 2080 TIs. Um okay, gig AORUS, might as well. There you go, one there. And one here. There we go. So hardline water cooled. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, cable this thing up. 
Okay, put this sucker up. And HDMI into the top one. Like that. Nice. So, what we now need is we now need a reservoir. Now, I think we can only stick one of these in. Um, let's go for that one. Yeah, we can only stick one. We can only stick one of these because it's so bloody massive. I'm not even sure if this is actually going to be a good thing to, good one to use because of how tall it is. Anyway, we'll give it a go. We'll see what we can find. But what we do now need is we need radiators. And obviously, we need um, 150, 150. Yeah. Um, we'll go two radiators on these sides here. I can't, for some reason, I don't know why, but I can't stick any. I played about with it before, and maybe it's because this is here. But I couldn't stick any radiators up here, even though it was a three radiator slot. Now, if we go to tubing. Um, this is going to be quite interesting. So I, what I want is I want one of the um, one of these to go into here. Now I've done this once before, but it's how I did it is a like a different matter. So what I'm going to do because it's going to take me flipping ages to do properly, I'm going to speed this video up and what you can watch me water cool like put the pipes in the correct positions because it saved me having to talk consistently for god knows how long. So. I'll um, do the water cooling now, and I'll be back once I've done it. Alright guys, I've done with me water cooling. Now that took so much longer than needed to be. Like, it's, it's, it wouldn't be half as bad if I only had, like, two radiators. So I had this radiator here at the side, on the one side, and then this one at the top, or this one on the side. But because I've got two, I've got to loop the entire thing. And because I've got two graphics cards in this massive, like, reservoir as well, I had to sort of work it around you saw while I was doing it, but... It's, it's a bit of a pain, I can't lie. But anyway, <coughs> that's not going to stop us from um, water cooling this damn thread ripper. So, what I'm going to do <coughs> is get some coolant. Uh, what colour should we go for? Now, I do want just some cleared coolant. I think, I think that would be the best thing for it. But, um, I do find a bit of opaque coolant. Um, opaque. Okay, have we got white, white opaque coolant? Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Right, let's... Um, okay, I need to power up my power... I need to power up my reservoir. And I need to put the um, plugs into my fans as well, which is a bit annoying. And front panel as well. No, cable at the front panel. That's the one cable I forgot to put in earlier. There we go. Uh, put in your front panel. That's why your PC don't work. <laughs> don't switch on otherwise. And uh, switch on. And before we get into the um, install of the operating system, we need to go into the BIOS because I want to have a play about... Yeah, 128 gigs of RAM. <laughs> God's sake, that's so over the top. Um, so CPU overclock. Can we overclock this? I want to just see if it'll boot first. We'll overclock it later. <coughs> we'll overclock it later. I'll enable my XMP profile because it takes it straight to 3200. Three, um, we'll try to overclock it a bit later. I'm not going to try it now because I know the likely chances I'm going to boot it up 
it, and I'm gonna, it's gonna crash, and I don't know what it is that's gonna cause it to crash. So, again, same with the graphics cards. I'll run it at base clock first. I just enable my XMP profile just because yeah, it needs to be like that. Um, M.2, nice. Apply changes, restart, and it'll install the operating system. And let's see how this runs as a benchmark. Now, again, I'm not expecting a massively, like, ace benchmark. How, what color is it? Okay, it's all red. That's, that's all right. Um, so, all... <laughs> All 31 cores are all running at about 50 degrees, which is about in its within acceptable range. That's all right. Um, running the Mega OS, that's fine. Two um, 2080 Ti's, they're being liquid cooled at um, 31 degrees, which is acceptable. Um, 128 gigs of RAM, memory clock speed 3200 because we're running an XMP profile. Um, now, yeah, two, two SSDs um, for. Tera four four terabyte um, mechanical drives and two M.2 SSDs as well. Yeah, I think we were I think we we're doing quite well there. Right. Anyway, um, I just boot this up and we'll see how the temp temperatures run with um, 3D Mark going. Oh God, we're already up to 80 degrees and that's just on the that's just on all cores. GPUs are saying it's staying relatively chilly, so that's all right. Um. That's staying re yeah, GPU is staying relatively chilly. 40, 40 um, frame FPS on the um, sit on the um, CPU um, benchmark, which is actually not too bad. It's actually pretty good. It's about average. It's about 9900 K's worth of um, like scoring. Obviously, the GPU is going to be like in its hundreds because of um, its 2080 Ti's. So we'll see if we can overclock it. But if I'm gonna overclock it, I'm gonna I wanna what I wanna do first is I want to. Um, now, once we've benchmarked this, I'm not. I'm gonna play about with the configs a bit, and I want to see if um, this is any different to um, how I like set up the water cooling. So I'm gonna change the. So if I go, I'll leave this to go a minute. It's still saying it at like 80 degrees, which is not too bad, I suppose. Um, but if I go into here, I want to see what would happen if I changed, let's say, this um, tube here that goes into the into the reservoir, and stick that into the um, CPU block, and then suck this bit into the um and then stuck the whatever this is meant to this one into that radiator it probably won't work because i probably need to retube the entire thing again but um what have we got here Nineteen thousand. okay that's actually like that is like that's quite cool actually 21,000 gpus and 11,000 on the cpus i think that's the best cpu one i've actually got the Ryzen Threadrippers. Okay, so completely disregard what I said about um, Ryzen. Um, about Ryzen not being very good with Time Spy. Okay, right. That's that's quite interesting. So what I'm going to do. I'm interested to see how the cooling is going to work. So if I just... <coughs> we empty the reservoir. Um, and if we go into the piping. Let's remove... Um, let's remove this tube. And we'll take out... Hmm... I'm just thinking. Right. So that's going to go in there. I'm just going to right. take out this one that goes into the graphics card. And this pipe, I'm going to run into that one. So, right, what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to cut ahead in the video. I'm going to speed up this video. Just just because it's going to take me quite a while. So I'm going to speed up the video. You watch me put a bit of music on. And I'll be back once I'm done. Right, okay, so I'm back and I've sort of like, I've done a, a, a sort of job on it. Now, it's, this isn't good, it's, it's a bit of a shoddy job at water cooling, but basically what I've done is I've taken out the, um, the, K, the tube from the reservoir going into the GPU instead of the one going into the um, radiator because 
otherwise I'd have had two like M2 radiators and they'd have been going into a certain place like I would have to figure out where that goes but what I've basically done is I've put this tube into the CPU and then this one from the GPU into this radiator again it's a bit of a crappy like tube thing but it switches on and it powers on I'm just just doing it for the one of like like again the temperatures are relatively stable I'm just quite interested to see what the temperatures are going to be like in difference between um this and um, do it in the other config and by the looks of things it doesn't make too much of a difference so I'll leave it at that because it doesn't make too much any difference at all um, and I shall if I click cancel what we're going to do is we're going to start overclocking this thing so if we go power and then go to hold delete and go into the BIOS now we're only going to we're going to have to do this one bit at a time the only reason why that is is because a thread ripper is a bit of a pain in the bum and anybody who's used this thing as you can see it goes up in 25 mega in 25 megahertz and the reason why is because of how unstable this thing is and how much you can't actually overclock it properly <coughs> <coughs> excuse me 32 cores that we got the which is perfectly fine but the clock speed is not exactly very good and as you can see the frame rate is now dipping down because we've overclocked it a little bit too much we've overcranked it so one of them all I'm going to do now is turn it down 25 megahertz at a time and see how see what the optimal overclocking capabilities are for this thing and again it looks like it's just about to fall off yeah um again we can't like there's no point in increasing the voltage if the um if the clock speed is not going to compensate so what i'm gonna do put that back to 1.5 so that's the highest clock speed we can get for the rising for the thread ripper so that's fine we get up to four uh, 40 frames per second on the um, CPU test um, thing now um, I'm quite interested to see if we can get it that hot <coughs> Excuse me if We can get it up to that frame rate and that um, speed how the temps will do in that particular instance But first things first is we need to overclock our um, 2080 Ti's so I'm just going to run, so we'll go infinite um, test, so we'll monitor it, wait until it gets up to its um, peak power draw, so it's not power drawing anything else, so we can start testing it. Um, and then once it's done that, we can start um, overclocking. So what I'm going to do, I'll, again, speed up the video while it's, um, while I'm overclocking this thing, and, one, and once I've done, I'll be back. Alright guys, so we're done. So we've I've overclocked the um, GPU as much. I've over basically cranked it up as much as I can. Any <coughs> anything massively higher would have just just blue screened it. This isn't the highest I could possibly go, but um, if I went like I don't know the exact figures, so if I went any higher, I'd probably just blue screen on me anyway. So it's not very really much point. Um, so well, 2000 aside, just because it's consistent. What I do is I get my um, CPU. Um, monitor how much we're still again for 40 degrees idle or 50 degrees on the GPUs, which is okay, that's because we've overcranked it. Um, so we'll open up 3D Mark and we'll see how the temperatures work now. I'm interested to see what the temperatures are. Oh god, I think have I is that because I've overcranked my um, CPU? It's going down in FPS now, my CPU's not working. Um, um, Again, back up to 82 degrees when we over crank it um, we'll get to um, no it's perfectly fine it'll probably get up to like 94 degrees most probably um, that might be the reason why it's going down in like clock in um, like like frame rate because it's too it's not like it's too much maybe but anyway let's um, put this back to 1.5 apply changes and restart click yes now this should be okay now, hopefully. Uh, maybe our XMP profile is um, playing it up. 
but it seems to be okay. Let's let's see. It's back up, back up to where it should be. 93 degrees, 90 degrees on all on all cores. We're up to 40 FPS, which is fine. 93, 92, 93 degrees. Oh my god, that thing's cooking. Saying that, GPU temps are actually pretty stable. 60, 60 degrees. It's not. That's not too bad actually. <coughs> That's actually pretty pretty good. Um, actually, I'm quite surprised by that. 137 frames per second. That's actually that's not too bad. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut ahead in the video just so you don't have to watch this benchmark again. So, um, I'll jump in the video. I'll be back once this bench. All right, guys. So we're back again. It didn't boost it up too much. I did. I really really wanted the um, the G the CPU to be up a bit more, but again, I don't. I, if I crank up any more, it's just going to blue screen on me. There's no better way to cool this thing. I think what it is. <coughs> excuse me. I think what the issue is is that the third bit gets so hot when it's overclocked that it just dies on itself. I think. I think that's the biggest issue that we're facing at the moment. Get um, this PC. Set to begin with an Intel chip, so I use the 9980XE or whatever it is. I think it's an I think it is um, I9 9980XE. I think it is. Yeah, 9980XE, 18 core, 4.4. We'll see what that is, but I'll do that. I won't even. You won't even see me put it together. I'll just cut ahead of the video and it'll be done. So I will be back in a second. What the hell? Why? What really? 23,000 and all I did was crank up the GPU. I haven't even cranked up the um, CPU yet. We're already at 23,000 What? Like le like legit like <coughs> The only difference that, that is with this with this system, right? Everything is pretty much exactly the same. Radiation is reservoir, cooler is exactly the same. Graphics cards are exactly the same. The only there's three different things in this. <laughs> The i9-9980 XE CPU, which is what we were changing anyway. The Gigabyte X299 Aorus Gaming um, is motherboard. And because the motherboard can support up to 4000 megahertz, I basically put 4000 megahertz worth of RAM in it. Um, and enable the XMP profile like we had before. But sure, that doesn't make that much of a difference. All I did was, like... I, I didn't even bother put, doing it beforehand at the base clock, but I just overclocked it. That is, you can see from the previous one that we did, 2,000 aside, 23,545, and I haven't even overclocked the i9 yet. Christ. Okay. Right. I think we need to overclock... <coughs> I think we need to overclock this damn thing. <laughs> okay. All right, then. I said it just completely shocked me, that is. <laughs> um, right. CPU overclock. Right. Five gigahertz, right? Let's see how you fare, right? We'll do 500 megahertz at a time. Sorry, 100 megahertz at a time. See where we get to. Oh god, that actually like that's genuinely like shocking, right? Um, let's just see how temps go. Um, yeah, okay, we can't ever clock. We can't ever clock that CPU because it's too. Um, it is too hot. Wow. Okay. I don't know why, like, I'm slightly shocked by that benchmark. 23,000. I don't know, like, our PC, I can't remember which one it is now, but the PC that we got, which is, like, the full caboose of everything that we had. Um, what was it? 7,600. 900k. I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was this one. This, this is the one, I think. It was the... One with the um, 900k and the 228 ETIs and everything in it. Yeah. Now it's got it's only got 64 gigs of RAM in it, but 18,000, 23,000 on a server PC. Damn. Damn it. God's sake. Right. Let's have a look at temps. Let's have a look at where the temps go. And it's only 18 cores as well. It's not even a th it's like the the third of was a 32 core at a you know I don't even know. Temperature actually stay within like the realms of normality actually, which is actually like quite cool. Um, the Ryzen, it was the Ryzen, yeah, 4.2. So it's it's 200 megahertz more, but surely that should not make that much of a difference. Surely, like seriously, 200 megahertz. And even so, we've over we've over we've cranked this up, so it's um, 
So it's 4.3 gigahertz. So even so, it's 100 megahertz more. So even surely that isn't that doesn't really make that much of a difference. Surely to God. Wow, that's actually like that's mind-boggling. Like, <coughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> and the, the computer's exactly the same. You can look at it, look at the specs, and it's all exactly the same. It costs slightly more because obviously we're using an Intel chip, but it doesn't really matter. But anyway. That is about, um, <coughs> excuse me, all we have time for in this uh, video here. That's actually quite interesting. I thoroughly enjoyed that, but it, um, yeah, a bit boggling, mind boggling, but never mind. Um, so, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button for more awesome gaming content. And I shall see you all later. Bye!